On the Sunday after Easter, I always like to think of the significance of Easter. On Easter Sunday, we celebrate, you might say, the fact of Easter, uh, though it's hard to escape, of course, its significance. But we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus. But there are so many implications uh, to the resurrection of Jesus. And so, in the Sundays that follow, I always have enjoyed thinking about the implications of the resurrection of Jesus. Paul tells us many of those implications in 1 Corinthians 15 when he, when he talks about uh, uh, the terrible hypothesis, uh, if Christ had not been raised from the dead, what then? And so in a negative way, he begins to tell us the beautiful positive implications of Easter. He said we would still be in our sins. The, the, the resurrection of Jesus uh, means that we have been forgiven. Just as Christ was vindicated, so all those who are in Christ are in the family of God. We have been cleansed and purified. We have been forgiven uh, because of the resurrection of Jesus. It, it, means, um, it means something else that's very important, I think, and that is uh, it was expected and anticipated that when the resurrection of the dead happened that that would be, you might say, uh, the end. Uh, all would be done. And yet something very unusual with the resurrection of Jesus is that the resurrection has, you might say, been split into two parts. There's Christ the first fruits, as Paul says in 1 Corinthians 15. After that, those who are Christ's at His coming. And so the, the resurrection of Jesus is the beginning of, of the resurrection of the dead, and yet the earth has not yet been transformed. The body of Jesus was transformed, and so that's a microcosm of the coming transformation of heaven and earth. But that time has been stretched out. The time of the curse upon the creation is still here, just as we're experiencing with uh, the pandemic, the coronavirus. It means also that, that we are His witnesses in Judea, Samaria, and the uttermost parts of the earth. It means that we live with the beginning triumph, and yet there is work to be done. We know that there is still work to be done. We know that, that we as, as, as the people of God have been called as His people, set apart, and we still have things to do. And so it is here at HBU. We, we are commissioned with the task of Christian higher education. We have a lot of work to do, and that work is going on, and the Lord is going to see us through this. I'm confident that as surely as He raised Christ our Lord from the dead and as surely as, as He has given us work to do, uh, He's going to enable us and empower us to do that work for many, many uh, years to come. We've been celebrating our 60th anniversary as a university, and the Lord has blessed us and given us good days ahead. God bless you as you do the work of God in the world.